Hi there, this is Rick Clark, and I have a question for you, an exploration that we can go on together. What is the gospel? In fact, what is the compelling gospel? You see, Jesus said in Mark chapter 8 and verse 35, whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will find it. So the question is really, what is the gospel that's worth dying for? What is the gospel that is so compelling it demands your entire life? Paul said the same thing in 1 Corinthians 9, verse 23. He said, I do all things for the sake of the gospel. Do you understand life? Do you understand God? Do you have a relationship with God? What about your failures? What about the brokenness, the weakness, the wounds, people that have sinned against you or people you may have sinned against? We're talking about a perfect God and then a very human you and me. How can we have a relationship with God when we, he is so perfect and we are so imperfect? Well, that's what the gospel is all about. And it is compelling. Now, here's the issue. Jesus once told about four soils. And he was relating them to their receptivity or understanding of the gospel. This one hears, but he doesn't even believe. He's not even interested but these other three, they all believe to some degree. This one believes, but it fades quickly. This one believes, but he gets choked and bears no fruit. But in Matthew chapter 13 and verse 23, Jesus summarizes this whole story of the four soils. And he says, the person who understands the gospel will have a compulsion to communicate it to others. In fact, he will bear fruit and he will effectively not only understand the gospel, but communicate it to others. If you do not understand the gospel, if you are not so compelled by the gospel that you are effectively communicating it to others, in effect, what Jesus is saying is you don't understand the gospel. Now, if you don't understand it, explore it. If you don't understand it, don't be turned off by religion, by the, uh, by the outward ceremonies that you've seen, by the, 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 the temple, uh, by, the, by the church, with the steeple, and with the clergyman, with his robe, or his special clothing, or his special pedestal. No, go beyond that. Go into the Word. Take time to study the word. Take time to learn the gospel as Jesus communicated it to you. In fact, I invite you, let's explore this together. What is the gospel? What is the compelling gospel? What is the gospel that's worth dying for? Because when you die for the gospel, that's when you find life. Let's explore this together.